Hello, welcome back to BS Live. Um, in this episode, I want to do some kind of um, painting, but it's over a 3D model that's probably um, has been scanned or something that's been sculpted, but someone put it online so you can actually 3D print it or or for other things like you can you are free to remix some of this um, sculpture. Okay, so I will be using this um, statue sculpture of Julius Caesar. I got it somewhere. I'll give you the link later, but uh, yeah, let's get started. File, import, um, I think it was, the format was STL and I save it on the desktop. Okay, Julius Caesar STL, import STL. A lot of uh, 3D printed objects is uh, actually comes as STL format. So normally, the objects looking like this and then if you hit tab you can see lots of triangles yep um, maybe you can for the first thing I will do in order to to be able to paint it is to do the UV um, so uh, you you could actually use vertex paint and start painting that's kind of a quick way if you want to just quickly painting and um, just be creative it's not finalizing it's a it's really like remixing the old sculpture and you can actually kind of bake it at some point but in order to do the proper baking you you also need a proper UV so we, we will try to do a quick UV um, before we do that, let's go to edit modes. Okay, lots of triangles. Let's actually, let's see if we can get a quad out of this. F3 and quad. Threes to quad. Maybe we have better luck. And yeah, see, it's actually making it much easier to work with. It's quad and you can, you can do, you can do UV easier this way. Okay. File save as Julius UV demo. So UV is actually something that um, can be really boring and really painful, but um, it's actually a good practice if you just started using 3D, 3D um, app like Blender to do the UV, and you can really investigate the the elements of a mesh whether it's vertices edges or face and you if you are really good with UV uh, um, you can actually start to appreciate um, 3d a little bit more so le uh, let me show you quickly uh, like looking at this uh, mesh for example you, you can start um, normally I'll pick a vertices and I'll it I'll hit L so you can see this mesh of Julius Caesar is made of multiple geometry. Okay, so there's this guy in the middle. There's also this guy at the bottom. So we're gonna work on them one by one. For example, um, I'll start with this one in the middle. If we hit L, so we want to work on that part without having to worry about the rest of part of the part. So first you probably want to hide so hiding and showing parts in blender is always like there's the hotkey there's this hide selected hide unselected and refill hidden so you need to know these three this is like a must so let's try um if you hit shift edge it's gonna hide the rest now you can just simply focusing on this area Okay, so for anyone who is learning to do the UV texturing, um, here's one. Okay, first try to learn to select edges. You can select edges by selecting an edge and then shift, select, select, select. Or you can also select one and then command, select. And it's gonna pick the shortest edges between those two. So that's really handy. Sometimes you can pick the, the edge loop, but not always, so don't count on that. 
but that's a uh, yeah this one way to select the edge and then command E mark as marks seam okay so because because we want to do the UV and kind of cutting the mesh um, kind of like a cloth if we have clean UV we can then paint our surface more easily so I'm selecting the bottom part command E mark seam so now with this guy selected if you select all hit A and then U you can unwrap so that's really the basic idea of unwrapping a UV I'll do it for the rest of this mess I'll do it really really quickly so I will so we want to get uh, the other hidden objects I think it was is it option H yeah option H so select the, the bottom part hit L and then shift H hide the rest we're gonna be focusing on this area we want to select the bottom part a quick way to do this they are actually flat as well but normally I'll for those kind of things you want to just box select the bottom part so hit tap B and then select the vertices at the bottom but you want to select all of them so you want to show x-ray hit B select them now we are selecting all the bottom part and then we want to go mesh uh, actually it's, it's probably by select select loop boundary select loop boundary loop yeah so that gives you the the edge now you can command e mark seam same thing on the top but the top is pretty simple so we can select the face tap C and just paint like that and you kind of covering the top area and then hit escape or right click and then select loop select boundary loop command E mark seam and then now we can we want to select the edge that's connecting the top to the bottom um, yeah let's select the one at the back select edges so one two three to select either vertices edge or face so let's select the edge select this and just go um, command and click to get the shortest path and command E mark scene select all of them and you unwrap so now we we've done this part so they are kind of separate okay file save save often just in case I'm using blender alpha so it might crash shift H oh okay we have hidden everything show height reveal hidden okay we can we get our scissors back um, so the UV is kind of nice for the bottom part they are overlapping there is a way to arrange them pack island yep but we're gonna do one for the scissor for this part as well so shift H or yeah shift H right no I cannot always remember okay shift H height and select it now with scissor probably you want to cut around the neck the clothes part it's actually two kind of clothes but don't worry about that cut the neck cut around the head around the face and it should be fine okay let's do that very quickly edge so there is no edge loop or there is one let's 
going to just go around the neck very very roughly as long as we get a decent kind of UV then you can start do the painting uh, yeah that's it's not too good yeah have to just do a couple of click around the neck area and then command E I can be cleaner there but yeah just don't worry let's do the head we're gonna slice open this area maybe around the hair oh yeah it's cutting this way okay and then command click there and command click there oops yeah sometimes you can do that yeah this is actually probably okay some people slice it differently command e mark scene so you can actually you can do this like uh if you hit u you can, there is live unwrap i'm not gonna do that for now just do the normal unwrap so it's gonna unwrap this surface it's gonna make a cut where there's a, the seam actually what we've, we've been doing this takes a bit longer hopefully it doesn't crash okay cool so this area is probably the bottom part uh, it's not bad that's the hair maybe save so we're gonna refill everything again mesh there is a high show and hide refill hidden so we have everything they are overlapping you just need to pack the island okay that's decent sometimes you want to have multiple uv um, there's something called UDID I think so you can have multiple UV for one mesh object or geometry but for now it's gonna be simple um, I'm not gonna create texture like that if we want to start painting it's not gonna work right away so texture paint okay it's pink we need to add a texture so in the tool here we can add base color for the texture make it like 2048 slightly bigger generate blank or UV grid or color grid you can actually use UV grid just to see how good your UV is see the neck with every area that is kind of too large it's not great for UV um, so this part around the head it's like wow that's not a great UV the one that's kind of small and the same size and not too stretching is good this one's too large this one's small so maybe maybe my UV here around the neck is not not fantastic but I can perhaps try to make better seam cut mm, let's I just cut around there. Mark seam. The face goes around. Maybe select all of them. And then do a unwrap. Wait a few seconds and let's see how it goes. I wonder if I'm still recording. So it's been unwrapped. Look at our texture. Yeah, probably a little bit 
better. There's a seam on at the front of the neck there. There's a lot of uh, circular thing happening, but that's okay though. Let's just start do a bit of texture painting. Okay, at this point, you really you're free to do anything with this model. You can start painting and see if there's like weird thing happening while you're painting. So, so this part you see there's a set of overlapping. Oh no, I'm doing the symmetry. Did I have the symmetry on? No, it's off. Why is it when I'm painting it's uh, overlapping? So that's a kind of thing that you want to test. Okay, that's still overlapping, so that's not not very good. Maybe you need to do another cut. But the rest of them is actually ready to be painted. You can do the texture projection thing like we do with the other day with Krita. Um, for now, I will show you that you can do the you can do something like this. Create new texture. Open and I'll go to my desktop and find um, an image, interesting image like like this, like this. We're gonna use something called stencil. And here you can see there's an image there. If you right click, you can move the image. Shift and right click can scale the image and then sh control and right click you can rotate the image so so right click right click to move the image shift right click control right click and drag now with this you can actually work move around your 3d objects and then kind of stencil and spray into the 3d geometry it's almost like the an actual gravity in a way if you ever done gravity i've never really done a real gravity but stencil is like um it's a must no uh, if you're doing gravity i think you create a stencil and you just spray and then within seconds you can you can paint the gravity on the wall but you're gonna we are not doing vandalism on the public um, on the public area this is just inside blender and you can do this on any 3d geometry mesh this should be become this should become like a thing this is also pretty meditative highly recommended paint paint so within with a stencil you see because we are using um, a texture that's uh, with some kind of detail this is also a quick way to just paint uh, this yeah this is one of the most uh, useful ways Pretty texture painting should be as this fun as uh, should be this fun and uh, instead of, instead of stencil you can also use 3D and or random and just enable rake you can also paint like this this tend to give you like a lot of noise however maybe not too random tile or tile is tiling the monkey like that Few plane, few plane, okay, few plane. It's also giving you like a mushy, so stencil is probably the best. It's, it, it takes longer, but give you the best result. Do this all over. I don't know, I think you can pick a different color and keep spray, spraying spraying the stencil control rotate 
I wonder if this kind of a uh, stamping can be more procedural. Yeah, I'm. I reckon you can. Like, if you rotate the model procedurally, like, and then you can do. You can just keep spraying, and then it's gonna uh, rotate the model. Maybe we can use animation nodes for that, or spectral. So with this model, yeah, it's getting quite uh, interesting looking. It's quite abstract. Um, it's like comic painting being drawn and... Oh, actually, it's a good idea to work autographically. Yeah, it's quite okay, like this. Now, save all images, and we are done with texture painting. And then we want to look at it maybe in this mode. I like this mode, and then go to matcap, and then turn on texturing, and turn on cavity, ridge, and valley. Hmm, nice. And the matcap maybe pick this one that's looking like a comic, non photorealistic. <clears throat> Oh, we also have the vertex color vertex painting happening. Um, yeah, not actually not too bad. This maybe need to work on that area as well still, but this is not too bad. It's interesting um, and it's actually really fun to do. Time every now and then, if you if you you're blocked with ideas or you're kind of stressed out, this kind of thing is very meditative. I don't know how long I've been talking, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, what I want to show you. The UV part is really boring, however, it's, it is also can be meditative. And then once you've done the UV, you kind of it's kind of nice to look at the laid out UV, kind of like doing a cutting of fabric and everything is laid out nicely and then you can start uh, painting, alright? Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.